So here's a GMRS license. It's got the call sign, the radio service, other numbers, uh, and the different dates. At the bottom, there's waivers and conditions. We're going to look on the second line where it says exceptions. Licensees who operate north of line A and east of line C may not operate on channels 462.650, 462.660, 462.660, 467.650, 462.700, and 467.700, unless your previous license authorizes such operations, which yours probably doesn't. So if you live within 110 miles of the Canadian border, you need to check to see if you're within the lines A or C. Go to FCC.gov and you hopefully will get this page as the main page. Hover your mouse over Reports and Research and then click on Maps. When you get to the Maps page in the search bar, type in Line A and do your search. This map will come up showing the lines, but it's not very usable. So click on one of the links below it. Then you'll get this page. Uh, at the bottom of this page it says click on this for a more interactive map. So do that. And then this one will come up and you can zoom in and find locations, actually check distances. So we're going to type a supposedly fictitious address from somewhere in the United States. So this address in Montana is above line A so they would not be able to use channels 19 and 21 